Well, you know it's hunting season when you have to scrape the ice off the windows. That's the first time this year. Hard hoar frost killed everything as if, as if there was much to kill this year other than a few weeds. A hard uh, drought year for sure and for certain. But I figure since it is getting into the hunting season, I better give you some hunting safety tips that you may not be thinking about. The biggest tip I can give you for hunting season for those who are hunting is that if you go hunting, you're going to be hunted. If you go hunting, you're going to be hunted. And hunting is not just with firearms. It's also with things like a fishing pole. For example, just to carry a fishing pole in your car in some states, if you get pulled over for a traffic violation or whatever stop might be, a uh, road check, whatever, and you'd have a fishing pole in your car, that could automatically, uh, they would demand a fishing license. You got the equipment, I want to see the fishing license. If you don't, they can arrest you for fishing without a license. It's been done in the state of Nebraska, and I bet it could be done where you are too, so be careful. Always carry your licenses with you, and if you don't have a license, don't be carrying a fishing pole or anything that can get you in trouble on that line. Also, during hunting seasons, to carry a gun, even if you're not hunting, uh, just to go out and target practice, be careful, because many of them require hunting licenses during hunting season if you just simply have a gun in your possession and a vehicle, what have you. No use giving them an extra couple of hundred dollars and giving you some kind of a uh, record that will make you look bad for the rest of your life. Keep that in mind. Also, some states are now making uh, even a BB gun. They're calling them firearms. And so the same regulations that would go for a regular firearm would also go for a BB gun. Keep that in mind. Keep yourself safe and legal. You don't want the G-men to be able to eat lobster off of you and off of your paycheck that you worked hard for. Also, you want to keep track Say you pick up a, a, a trap at a yard sale or auction, something in that nature. And uh, this one came from me. I used to trap back in the mid and early 60s when I was a kid and uh, on the Frenchman and the stinking water. So I keep a couple just in remembrance of what I used to do. I don't have them trapped ever since, but I keep them, but I never put them in my vehicle. Again, if you've got a trap in your vehicle at any time during the year, they can uh, say you're either trapping illegally or at least trapping even if it was in season. And where I don't have a license, that would also be another infraction. And so never give the G-men a chance to destroy your life. And this is some of the ways he goes after you. And so keep that in mind. Another thing is loaded guns in the car. A lot of people understand and realize the danger of having a firearm loaded in a car. But... If you get out of your car, you load your weapon, and you get it on safety, and you set it up against the car, and you're adjusting your jacket or whatever you might be doing, if a game warden comes up, like locally happened here, a young man, he had his loaded gun leaning up against the car as he was putting on his snake shafts, because we got a lot, of, a lot of rattlers in this area, he was busted, and he had to pay about a $140 fine for having a loaded gun in the car. If it's touching the car, uh, the game warden said that's equivalent to being inside the car. Crazy law, great way for the government G-men to make money so they can eat lobster and live in mansions and, and work in buildings that look more like castles while you and your family have to do without. And so what I'm trying to do is always keep you safe from the real terrorist of America, and that would be the G-men. Never forget that it is a 5,000 times greater chance that you'll have trouble with law enforcement in America than you ever running into and having trouble with a terrorist. 5,000 to 1. So I'm going to try and keep those odds cut down and keep you safe because we'll need you the day after. And we also need you today. And I want your money in your pocket. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. Rate this film. Two days in a row snowing again. If this isn't crazy, but well, we'll take it. Why do we need the moisture?